Welcome to Q and Eric, where I answer your questions, and if you don't like my answers, I blow your ass away. Beep, beep, beep. Let's start it off with a video question from Evan. Hi, Nemo. Um, I have a quick question about my camera. It's like a Sony DCR TRV16, and it shoots in VHS. And I don't really know how to edit in VHS, so I shoot it on this little eight megabyte memory card that came with it. But the video quality is very poor, and I don't know how to fix it. So, do you guys have any any knowledge of what I should do? Now, I did a little research, and the DCR TRV16 is actually a mini DV camera. It's older, but still pretty decent. And you should be able to just hook this up to your computer via FireWire, use whatever kind of editing program you want, and deal with the footage like that. You shouldn't be stuck with just that little eight megabyte memory card. Use the camera, mini DV, FireWire to your computer, and then you can edit. Taylor Van Man 88 wants to know how he can get a cool night vision effect. I can think of two good methods. One, old Sony cameras have pretty much night vision built in. You don't even have to create an effect, just turn it on and shoot at night. The second way, if you don't have night vision built in, is uh, shoot maybe like day for night and then color correct the crap out of it, just make everything all green. Maybe digitally add like numbers or little icons at the bottom so it really looks like you're looking through this high tech piece of machinery. Speaking of putting text on your screen, Penface Rat 25 wants to know how do I make words pop up on my video? This is actually a really simple addition that any editing program should be able to do. In Final Cut, for instance, they've got tons of different ways and methods you can put text. They've got just regular plain ones, scrolling, Star Wars style. They've got like typewriter stuff. Any editing program should have a text editor built in. For instance, in Final Cut, you'll find it under filters, then video generators, and then text editors. There's like Boris, there's just the regular Apple ones. They're really easy to find and super easy to use. You just pretty much type what you want, move it wherever you want it, change the color, whatever, and you're good to go. Blah. This is a lot easier than it used to be. Back in the day, I had my uh, stepdad's old JVC camera, and there was actually a text generator plug-in. It looked like a, a TV remote. It would plug in to the VCR, and you would sit there and go up and down, up and down, like putting in your initials in a video game, and just write the end in five pixel font. It was beautiful. Crossing. 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 <laughs> I'm having trouble with my green screen. My skin tone kind of gets keyed out. If you're trying to key out your screen and your skin ends up keying out as well, there's probably one of two problems. Either you're not lighting your screen well enough or more than likely you're standing too close to your screen and you're actually getting reflections off the green screen so you're actually getting green reflections on your face, your computer's seeing that and making that disappear as well. Just stand a little bit further away. I'm making a superhero film and one of the guys has these little fangs sticking out of his arms to claw people with and stuff and I wanted to know how to make those stable and uh, Want to know how to make them look like they're molded into a skin? Fangs on arms, huh? Genius. I'm stealing your idea. No, just kidding. I would make sure the base of the fangs are nice and wide, they're nice and light and hollow, and you use a bunch of spirit gum and liquid latex to attach it. They should be stable and on there, but I want to see how it turns out, so when you do it, send us pictures. All right, everybody, that's it for this week. Make sure to watch BFX this Monday as we unleash a brand new type of BFX episode. But for now, here's Justin with From the Forums. What's up, guys? Welcome to From the Forums. This week, we're going to show some of your films. They're called 10-second trailers. You can send in your own. Just give us a five-second intro and a 10-second clip from your movie, and we'll put it on Q and Eric. Here you go. Hello, this is Carmen Spado from Swine Films. And this is a clip from my first and new short, Jack and Jill. We found it. You know what it is. The tape. Hi, I'm Steve, and this is the trailer for our movie, Joe vs. Sean. <laughs>
right, thanks so much guys. Remember, send in your own 10 second trailer. It's so easy, just do that five second intro and the 10 second clip from your movie. No copyright music, please. IndieMogul.com and then go to the submit section. We'll see you next week. At the tone, leave a message. We'll get back to you. What makes a good movie? Great actors. Passion and love towards movies. Quotable lines. Likeable characters. Non-deranged bad guys. Plot makes a good movie because even if the rest of the movie sucks, if the movie has a good plot, then you can sometimes just imagine what it's supposed to be like. Really, really funny humor and good dark blood.